from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your dumbbell lower body mat workout. So you guys have asked me for these types of workouts because sometimes you just need something down on the mat where you don't have to move a lot and it's a little less pressure on the knees and the joints. We're gonna be using one set of dumbbells and the mat, but all of these moves can be done with just body weight as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and come on down. As always, if you need a warm up or a pull down, get it on your own. We're gonna keep this pretty short. So down to the lower body. So we, we're here down on our back and we are gonna start with just your very basic bridge. So we're gonna take the dumbbells and we're gonna rest them right on top of the legs. If that feels like too much, you can totally do this with no weight at all, just dumbbells to the side. So starting with just your bridge, you're gonna tilt the hips in, roll up, lift, and squeeze it down. So I want you to think about the core as the starting of your movement. Even though this is a lower body workout, pull the core in first and take it nice and slow. So hips to the ribs, roll it up and squeeze, take it down. And breathe. So the bridge is sort of the classic lower body mat core workout. Sorry, lower body mat workout for our legs, but really great for core as well. Let's go three and down, two, one more, and we're gonna hold this one at the top. So we're gonna touch our knees in for inner thighs, squeeze them out for outer thighs. In, so you may have to move those dumbbells a little bit. Again, if it starts to feel like too much, you can do this without the dumbbells. It's up to you, but we're just going inner and outer. Out and squeeze, breathe and then let's go four more touch them close if you can squeeze those inners out with the outers three two one more and relax it down so just get a little stretch to that we're gonna roll over to our sides come back to the bridges in a minute so we're rolling over to one side we're gonna come up on the elbow we're gonna take our dumbbell right on the top and we're just gonna do a little lift and lower for outer thighs, right? Just lift and down. Core is in tight, hips are stacked. We're here, breathe. You don't have to go super high, and again, you can do it without the weight. Let's go four, three, two. Hold it at the top, watch me here. Little squeeze and back, heel to the glute. Keep it lifted if you can. There we go, and we're gonna go four, three, two, and then hold it back here. We're gonna push and forward. So I'm staying strong in my core. I'm just pushing that heel to the back, moving just a small range of motion. Let's go three, two, one. Roll it forward, you can get a little feet out on that muscle, and then let's open that up and take the dumbbell to the lower leg. So lift and lower, up and down, breathe. So again, my core is in tight. You can do this without the weight if that feels good. Breathe. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, Hold it up and watch me. I'm gonna squeeze in and out. So same idea, except we're squeezing in towards that back leg. Let's go four, three, two. Hold it in tight. Instead of pushing out, we're gonna bring that knee up and down. So instead of pushing back, we're pushing forward, right? Four more, four, three, two, Woo, we feel that inner and outer, right? So bring it up, drop the knees to the side, Woo, right? And then we'll do all of that onto that other side. So bring it down, elbow here, top leg, lift and lower, up and down. So we're keeping the short, remember it's just gonna be very isolated. Breathe, lifting and lower if you need to, drop that dumbbell. Four more right here. Four, three, two, 
hold into the top, squeeze feel the glute. So really getting as far back as you can, keeping that foot flexed and keeping the core in tight. Four, three, two, hold it back, push it back, push back and center. So it's like you're bringing that knee back to the other knee after we push back. Four, three, two, and one. And then rotate it up. Here we go. Lift and lower. And breathe. Inner thigh. If you need to drop that dumbbell, I know sometimes, especially in this inner one, that's where we really feel it on the joints. That's okay. Four, three, two, hold it up, curl it in. Squeeze, bringing towards that back leg. And again, even though they feel a little awkward, just making sure you're staying steady through the movement and keeping that core in, that's gonna help. Last one, squeeze it in, lift that knee towards your body. Breathe, you can do it for four, three, two, and one. Whoo, bring it up. Knees out to the side, little stretch. And let's take it down onto our back again for another set of bridges. Whoo, all right, we feel it. So this time, we're gonna lift those toes off the ground and be pushing through the heels. So same idea, start with tilting the hips in, pulling that core in tight as you bring it up, but you're pressing through the heels the whole time to isolate the glutes. Here we go. And breathe. Slow and controlled. Feels like too much. Take the dumbbells off and just do the motion. Breathe, a little different, just do those heels, right? Yeah, breathe. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax it down. So now let's move them in a little bit. We're coming up on the toes. Every now and then, this feels like too much or we start to cramp, if that happens, just take your feet flat or take the dumbbells off. If you can, stay on the toes. Little more hamstrings. So you'll feel the difference. Breathe. We're getting close to the end of this workout. We're gonna keep it short. Breathe. Four more. Four. Three. Two, one, and relax, drop it down. Get a little stretch at the top, ooh, right? Uh-oh, there goes my dumbbell. And let's turn over on all fours to finish strong. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put the dumbbell in the back of the knee. Sometimes that's hard to hold it there. If it is for you, just do the movement. Without it, we're gonna go up, cross over, and down. This is our last move. We're just going to get a little crossover so we engage inner thighs and outer thighs. So inner as we cross, outer as we come out. Up, crossover, and down. Core is pulled in. You can always take it down to those elbows if that feels a little better. Let's go four more. Four, and up. Three. Two. One more. And relax. Switch it to that other side. Last thing, I know we're feeling it. Hands or elbows. Up, cross over. So you really have to squeeze in tight to hold on to that dumbbell, and then that also engages those hamstrings. Up, over. Easy. Totally fine to drop it to the elbows. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Over. And 
relax. Nice work, team. So let's stretch it back here. We're just gonna get a quick little stretch. Bring it up. One leg out. Oh, stretch those hamstrings. Fold it over. As always, get more of a stretch on your own. Other leg out in front. Just go as far as is comfortable for you. Breathe into it. And then let's take the feet out in front. Let your knees drop to the side. You can pull them in if that feels good. And rotate through the outer side, inner thighs, and the back. And watch me from the side. Just here, if you can, cross one leg over. If that feels too hard, you can take it here and then just kind of inch your way up. Or you can do this from a seated position from sitting at a chair. And press that top knee down just to really stretch out the outer thighs. Press it over again, you can start here and just bring it over. In. Relax. There we go. One big deep breath in. And out. And that was your dumbbell lower body mat workout. Great job, everybody.